Hey everyone, today I'm going to do a the fourth part of the Yao, how to be color neutral on Yao on 4x4. Uh, I will be doing the same thing as usual, the four solves, and I will show you how I do it and how to um, accomplish this. So now, the last three I've had were white, orange, and green. So now we're going to do the opposite of green first, so which is blue. So what I would do is... Oh, this is a nice pair here, but I would solve blue. I mean, like, just normally solve blue. I'm just going to keep that pair. And then now I would just solve green on top. Okay, so now this is the tricky part. If you remember that if we solved green first and then blue, we would have white, red. But when you have an opposite color it just inverses a lot of people that are white yellow neutral on 4x4 yeah they would understand this so if I flipped it over and it blue green first it would be white orange so basically the opposite of red is orange so instead of doing red we would do the opposite of red which is orange so basically let's say this is 4x4 let's say this was 4x4 yeah, let's say we're doing 4x4, four four and I have, imagine this is a 4x4, four four, but blue, green, and then I have my edges done. I would do white, orange, then yellow, then red. As you can see, my edges are white, red, and yellow. Yellow, opposite of red is orange, so orange edge would go here. Just a demonstration. On a 3x3, three three, it's a little bit easier than on a 4x4. Four four. So... Basically now, I know that if I bring this back, I have a yellow one done. So now I want to do either a red one or an orange one right here. So red, orange, and then white. That's how you remember it. So yellow, or not yellow, pff, ah, sorry, um, red, you would do red, orange, or white. Red, orange, or white. So you remember this by, this would be white right here. I remember it by white, orange, and then red. But since I did yellow first, it's a little bit confusing. That's why I had to go back. So now I would do... Okay, I have to look again. Red. Red here. Oh no, red here. Sorry. And then now I do orange here. Either orange or white. So... So as you can see, this kind of follows the scheme I have here. Actually, it follows exactly this one. White, red, and then yellow. Uh, it just happened to be coincidence. That way, if I found orange, I would have put it there. So now, you solve your centers. Now, this part of four by, how to become a neutron 4x4 four four Yao is, in my opinion, the hardest part. For some people, this may be really easy to get over. But for me, the hardest part is knowing where the edges go when you're doing this, when you're trying to be color neutral. And I still have that problem, but I it's usually the opposite problems. I don't have problems like putting red here because I know the opposite of white is yellow. It's usually if I put the red in the wrong spot or something. So now the easy part is the centers though, because you just know those and you don't have to think really. So white, do white. Instead of doing red like we usually do, like if we do red, we would do orange. So I would do orange, orange, and then now it would do that opposite of orange is red, and solve the edge. Man, I have I really suck at four by four. Okay, so that's it for that one. And by the way, the scrambles will be in the description as usual. Um, so this one, okay, I'm just this one is really weird. It's kind of, it's not super hard, but not efficient. I would have done orange on that one. Green. Now the centers are the easy part. That's why I'm not really going over. So now I have this. Both are done. The green's on top. And I have a coincidentally another yellow edge done. 
Sorry, <coughs> sorry, move that back up there. So, what's going through my mind right now is do that. Red. Also, there's one more way you can think of it. And I'll. So oh, sorry. There was white here and here. And. Yeah. Um, another way to think about it is if you do white, red, white, white, it used to be white, orange, you can also think of it opposite wise as yellow, red. And so you, in, instead of memorizing white, orange, you can memorize yellow, red. You can memorize both, so it'll be easier to um, solve the edges, which I kind of trying to do. It's really hard for me to get over because I used to do just white, red for the green centers. When I when I did the green center, I told you guys to do white, red, and now we're doing white, orange. So it's not a big difference, but it's a big difference to do the edges. In my opinion, it's a little bit tricky. So now I have white. Okay, now we have orange. And then red. And then we just have that itch. And now our yellow cross is solved. And... Yeah. Okay. It's solved. Okay. So this one is the third scramble. I've had actually these cubes set up for a while. I just haven't made the video. That's why it's a little, this one's a bit dusty. Okay. Alright, so now I have a blue. And I have a, a green edge. Where are the odds of me getting so many of these good cases? And I'm not even timing myself. Green. So I know yellow goes here, and I know white goes here, and then orange. So now I see the yellow. These two. I'll move them here, because remember, it's yellow, red. And then white's supposed to go here, so it's supposed to be opposite of white is yellow. Now I see a these two. Right here, these two. And now I have that done. This is right, yeah, orange, white, white, orange, okay. So now what you wanna do now is white center again. Start. I always start on white center. And now I have yellow or orange to do. put these center cases too they're so easy um now i just have these two left to finish the yaw cross all right so that's it for that one and now the final one this one's going to be a bit tricky because this this cube kind of sucks it doesn't cut corners at all it's a shang Shao, but i tightened it i tightened it all the way down and it still moves somehow hold on one sec i don't know how Okay, so now we have these blues, and this blue right here, move it down here, now we have green, green, and now we just move it down up there. Now we have uh, orange, I see orange first, I see... Uh, Yellows. Yellow would go here. Because remember, it's white, orange. And I remember it as white, orange, like that. And white and then orange. So I put the yellow here at first, so that's not right because this is not white, it's not yellow. And opposite of white is yellow, so it would go here. Um, uh, these two. Now I have, now I'm going to do white. I'm just going to... Orange. And now red goes up here. Now we just solve for the last edge. Which is... Right. 
so yeah, that is it for the how to be color neutral on 4x4 Yeah, part 4 green center. That one was pretty easy. It's pretty much the introduction to all the other the other two centers, but I'll still be going over all of them. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. Please subscribe for some more videos. Uh, I know I haven't been making very many, but I've just been busy lately. So yeah, guys, I'll see you later. Bye.